Hey, come on. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. It kind of hurt. I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Well, they gave me this book to protect or something like that, but I think it was yours. It is. Um, are you still interested in reading it? Um, yeah, thanks. See you tomorrow. Feel better. What was going through your character's mind in this moment? Um, I think that she was mostly feeling just anger and aggression towards why do you th oh you can <laughs> towards the one person because that's basically what she could take it out on why do you think your character was feeling this way um well i mean people would mostly feel that way if they had pent up aggression or anger inside of them and what would you have done in this situation as not, yourself not that <laughs> Yeah, not that. <laughs> um, I wouldn't really have done anything. If I was like a bystander and I like saw that, then I would probably go off and tell someone who I would know would go and tell an adult because I'm not, I'm too shy to actually tell an adult. So that would be my way. What was going through your character's mind? Um, well, I think I might have thought that, you know, Mia was maybe too sensitive or kind of pathetic. But later on, I kind of thought, well, like, she didn't really do anything to us, and there wasn't a reason for us to be mean to her. Was your character uncomfortable in this situation? I think so, because, you know, I... <laughs> Um, I didn't really do much to be mean, I don't think. I just, it was like mostly whispering. But I feel like my character was trying to fit in in some way, maybe. And what would you have done in real life? Well, I would have first told Jaden to stop, and she didn't, you know, Mia didn't really do anything to Jaden. So there's no reason for the harm, and especially if it's physical harm. There just wasn't a reason. What was going through your character's mind? Well, I think they just kind of noticed that this person wasn't really being nice to this other person and was kind of being a bully. So I think they were just kind of like, hey, I need to stop this before something serious happens. Why do you think your character felt they needed to stop it? Well, because obviously this person was being put in physical pain. And I think that's a little more serious than like mental pain because you can actually like get seriously hurt from being pushed into a locker or being punched or hit or kicked. I mean, yeah, words can hurt, but I feel like physical pain can lead to a more serious problem. And what would you have done in this I, situation in real life? I would have done the same thing. I would have gone over and been like, hey, this isn't cool. You need to stop. This could become something really bad. You don't want this to escalate anymore. And I'd kind of, or get an adult if it didn't stop eventually. I think your character um, acted in the way that they did. Well... I think they were too scared to stand up to the bully because they felt because the bully was bigger than them and stronger than them, so they felt like it would just cause them more harm, and they don't want that. They just wanted to kind of stand by and let it happen. Kind of. What do you think you would have done in this situation, either if you were um, being the person bullied or if you were watching this situation happen? Well, if I was the person being bullied, I would tell an adult, most likely my parents or a teacher, or I would stand up to the bully right then and there. And if I was a bystander in this situation, I would tell the bully to stop or go and get an adult right away.